because hemodialysis is the most common renal replacement modality with kidney failure all over the world. And this is the data of the United States, the most recent data, showing that two-thirds of any kidney disease are replaced by hemodialysis. Today, we have 35 guests from 20 African countries. I arranged them alphabetically. <coughs> So we have guests from Benin, Burkina Faso, Bronte, Chad, Equatorial Guinea, Eritrea, Gabon, Guinea Conakry, Kenya, Madagascar, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, Senegal, Sudan, Seychelles, South Sudan. Togo, Uganda, Zambia. So welcome you all here in Egypt and at the Russian uh, Center Mansoura University. And you, we are hoping you will raise and stay. Almost we like to collaborate with African countries. And the Russian Defense Center founded transplantation and Lagos uh, University teaching hospital. So we were a team, urologist, Dr. Shadim and me. Uh, and this was the first transplant case at Lagos Teaching Hospital. And in Rwanda, uh, uh, Ethiopia. And then we started him with Alex's course. As I mentioned, this is the 13th course and the sixth African course for, for, for dedicated for him with Alex. So this was the, the first course for African countries in 2015. The second course, and the, this one the, from the last course was uh, Professor Bassett. Uh, and this is just a tour, rapid tour from the previous photos. One of the most important, uh, you can say, inquiry from us Please be interactive. Please be interactive. Even you can ask us what we are in the tour or any in the workshops because interactions are the only way to bring success to the meetings. Moreover, this will offer all of you a nice gift because we through Egyptian site of infrusion transplantation, we founded the ASNT Nephrology National Academy that was uh, hosted at Mansoura University in Serbia. Up to date, we have more than 4,000 lectures and 1,600 videos. And uh, all of you will be offered the user and password free of charge, working, inshallah, forever. And you will find all the data, including videos. Back to our course. This is a five-day course, including interactive lectures, hands-on, link around, workshops. And all of you will be divided into two groups. And we will work on this at the end of this day. This is a multidisciplinary team course. The upper hand is for the fraudists because it's a hemodialysis course, but, but we are working hand in hand with other specialties because we are dealing with a patient. So the, we have members from endocrinology, internal medicine, gastroenterology, microbiology, Professor Nasreen, neurology, nutrition, psychiatry, radiology, rheumatology, urology, and the vascular surgery departments. You will find eminent speakers from different specialties because we believe that collaboration divides the, the task and multiplies the success. Team means together everyone achieves more. 
I think the most important challenge is to have direct expert translation. And I welcome the Dr. Yusuf because he is, uh, to, in this course, he is the only hero that comes for translation. And we hope that we'll have a second, a second expert soon coming. We have social program, including lunch and coffee break all the time. This course is accredited since uh, nine years from Harvard Medical School and considered a state of art of management of investigation in disease patients. And also the feedback from African uh, colleagues is very crucial. Last year, we have video tape documenting the satisfaction of our guests. And we hope this year to have a satisfaction. I'd like to end with this slide. We believe in this statement crucial. Work together. Egypt is an African country, so we should collaborate. Because walking, walking with a friend in the dark is better than walking alone in the light, as Helen Carr stated. As I, I said in the first slide, it is a team work. We are partnering with an infrastructure and with all specialities to work for your uh, help. This is a photo of an infrastructure and we are honored in this photo to have Professor Mohamed Unim, the founder of this center and the leader of transplantation in the Middle East, and Professor Sok, the father of nephrology. So, welcome you all, and thank you for your attention. <laughs> now, it's my pleasure to invite Professor Ayman Rafai, the chief of nephrology unit at the Roja Nephrology Center, and vice director of the Roja Nephrology Center, to uh, welcome you. Professor Ayyad. Thank you very much, Professor Nazim. Uh, good morning, everybody. Professor Nazim Sarah Omar, the Mansoura Center of Medicine. Professor Nazim Sarah Omar, the director of the Mansoura Emergent Research Center. Dear professors, colleagues, and guests, today marks the 13th International Human Diagnosis Course, and we are very proud to organize it and host it here at Mansoura Ibrahim Forest Center in collaboration with the Egyptian Agency of Partnership for the Therapy. The course is organized by one of the most active members in this center, my dear colleague, friend and brother, Professor Hussein Shahesh. During the next five days, our deep African guests we will be getting to know about the up-to-date and recent advances in human dialysis. On behalf of the organizing committee and the social transplantation unit, I welcome you all and we are brought you a fruitful scientific course and wish you a pleasant and wonderful stay in Mansoura. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Ayman. And now, it's my pleasure and honor to introduce Professor Krasnan Salah, the Director of the Roja Press Center, to welcome you to Professor Krasnan. So, good morning. It's a pleasure to welcome all of you, uh, uh, Professor Omar, Professor Fai, and uh, all of these. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome you here to this place for the 16th spine in Rome, which is uh, the 16th course in Rome, among those arranged in collaboration with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And uh, I'd like to put some uh, emphasis on the premises you are hosted in in these five days. The Rome Authority Center is, is a complex facility. It was established in 1983. It's hovering 270 minutes with over 1,800 staff members, 230 physicians with three separate buildings. The total surface area of three buildings is over 18,000 square meters. We are having 
12 rooms in the application department, 9 ORs, and uh, separate research lab and experimental animal house. This is the latest of the pictures we have uh, been able to collect for the uh, founders uh, from the Roman department of this place. And this was taken December 13th, 2017. And this is only to show you that uh, it's a very long story since those three guys at the middle who were very young in their 20s, back in 1968. They started the urology service in the neighboring university hospital. Time passed, and we are having uh, modern day medicine in its form of CME credit and accreditation and continuing medical education. This is an example of continuing education running for nurses. And this is one of the latest of our material of ORs. This is the latest pediatric OR in the event. In this home, back in last March, we were celebrating more than 3,000 live donor transplantation cases. And we are also having some music in this way. Live medicine is 11 countries. More than 30 million square kilometers is collecting 11 out of the 30 something countries of the African continent. So we'd like to welcome you here. It's not only the life that uh, binds us all, it's the science and the endeavors of, of my colleagues and your colleagues in the forage and the robbery service in collaborating and working out to make these courses feasible and hopefully fruitful. Nelson Mandela has stated that education is a great engine of personal development. And I've seen the names of Dr. Hussein have displayed. It seems that South Africa is not represented today, but again, the uh, great win of South Africa over England in rugby a couple of days ago would prove that Nelson Mandela was after all right. I'd like to look at you once more and visit Stanley and Mansoura and Thank you.
Love is staying in Egypt in this very nice weather in this prestigious center, one of the best places in Mansoura or in Egypt. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking for these kind words. And just for four minutes, uh, we'll go through the video in a tour and this place in the original presenter in four minutes. Thank you. 